revenge of the sea urchin and I got a piece of that in my thumb too. The things you find when you're on an adventure. Alright guys, today we are going after for some sea urchin. Uh, in the Philippines they call it, what do they call it? Uh, we call it swaki. Swaki. So the sea urchin I'm used to is the purple sea urchin, which is plentiful off the coast of California. Our Sherpa is looking um, and talking to the town hall, uh, the new barangay, so a new uh, neighborhood to see where we can uh, get beach access from so we don't have to swim or walk too far. But um, excited, cloudy day, possibly some showers, a little windy. Uh, there's a little beach waves, but nothing much, um, nothing big over here. We're like a central island, so there's not a lot of uh, big waves around. So um, looking forward to getting out in the water and just chilling, diving. Relaxing, swimming like a fish. Let's get some swake. So this must be the spot. <laughs> All right, to tell you the truth, we didn't have um, a location planned out. We kind of knew what we wanted to do. We were gonna ride the coast and look for a spot. So um, we ended up at a place where Bonyek knew some guys that ran um, a whale watching spot. And so uh, we tried this place out, but you'll see. All right guys, we got a scenario here. Because there's so many tourists over here, we gotta, we gotta make a move. It's not on the ground. Check your bag under here, the black bag. Yeah. So apparently, because there's so many tourists, as you can see, vans and vans of them, uh, they don't allow us to dive, which makes sense because there's a lot of moving boats and stuff like that for safety, even though we've got our <laughs> dive flag and safety stuff, but uh, we're definitely going to make a move and check it out on the other side, which is totally, probably God's plan. So this is so interesting. Uh, my Sherpa, Sir Bonyek, is uh, talking to more locals to find out if we can get closer to the beach here because we're trying to stay away from the tourist area. So this is new territory for both of us. We're good? So apparently, whenever you park, you gotta look up to see if we're under a coconut tree. And see, the fruits are on that side, so... You don't want a coconut tree breaking your windshield. <laughs> ah, local knowledge, local knowledge. Lock it up, let's go. All right, we're getting out here. You ready, Eggsy? We're good? Yes. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We'll follow this stream. It should take us to the water. Look how clear the water is in the stream. Oh, they got tilapia in there. Make a resort here. Waterfall. <laughs> Show Finn a lizard over there. The one with the kid hiding behind. Yeah. And then the one with the head. Uh, look at the head. The thing like that. The thing like that. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Here we go. What the heck? Nice little path. This is crazy. Look, they got a little shower for you too. 
Oh, we have to barbecue here. Oh my goodness. We got a waterfall. A local hidden gem. Oh, look at this. Look at this local shower. That's the local spring that they tapped into the waterfall, which is a waterfall over there. Oh, we gotta come here and barbecue. Oh, yeah. All right. But this is what we came here for, guys. Look at this. Oh, my. We gotta get some swake. We gotta get something. water is beautiful and there was so much life and we started spotting sea urchins but to tell you the truth I did not know what I was exactly looking for there's sea urchins out there but they're crabs they're stuck oh, you see something? yeah there's sea urchin but they're inside the rocks yeah so maybe we'll go that way there's there's sea urchin but let's go find After sorting through some other sea urchins, we finally spotted the right one after Bonyak told me which one to look for. Them, but then you see it. <laughs> Get used to it, right? <laughs> it's really easy to <laughs> find them. Oh, this is nice. They're small, but yeah. they're good, huh? So it's not these spikes are so small. We finally got the hang of it, and man, we started spotting them everywhere. Catching doesn't have hard spikes, bub. Look at it. If they hide a little bit under the grass, yeah. those are the ones we're looking for. This is a real swacket. Interesting. This is so different from sea urchins from where I'm from in California. Uh, but these are the local sea urchins here. I thought they were a little small, but he says these are about the size. I mean, this would be considered a big one. And look how small that is. So it's interesting because these are so colorful. They're like purple and orange. So cool. Purple and white and orange. We got white and green with a little orange. Just a variety of colors.
we thought they would be in the, the grassy area, but they're around lots of plants. And the cool thing is they would camouflage themselves and grab leaves or seaweed and cover themselves like that so you wouldn't even be able to see them. So rad. Can't wait to taste these guys. My Sherpa <laughs> came through, found the spot, found the first sea urchin. <laughs> it's gonna teach us how to open them. All right, how are we gonna do this? Okay. So you turn them over and in the middle is their mouth and you cut around that and what you're looking for is a soft yellow uni goodness. So the yellow one, yeah, yeah. that would be the, uh, the meat, the meat, but you have to shake it first because... Yeah, you have to clean it inside the... Yeah, because this one is yeah. itchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've eaten... So... Let's put a little on here. Getting itchy to your mouth. No. Oh. Sure. First taste. Very salty because <laughs> of the water, but very sweet. Yeah. So good, actually. <laughs> Pretty good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. really interesting what's inside. It looks like little sacks of like... So little. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we were asked by the local um, to get rid of our sea urchins and I'm not going to get the throw this bag in this ocean but you gotta throw that part after harvesting it and here the man the myth the legend <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah so I'm gonna swim out there empty this plastic bag keep the plastic bag and uh, empty out the uh, sea urchins out to the ocean there this is the hanging rice that we got this morning. I'm so excited to dig into that. Look at that. Rice cooked in that. Brought some backup rice just in case. Wait, 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 what? Look at the rice. It's cooked in the banana leaves. Isn't that sick? Thank you, Bonyak, my Sherpa. Teamwork makes the dream work, Eggsy. So got stuff he knows. All right, we gotta go home and knock out. I'll see you guys on the next run. The Pursuit of Coconuts, the first ever YouTube channel documenting the startup of a crowdfunded social enterprise. So join us as we share our journey to start a global business based around coconut products. We'll need your help, your insight, and your support to make it all possible. Uh, you'll get to experience the best business practices, behind the scenes meetings, the lessons learned from mistakes, our successes, heartaches, and triumphs, along with some just cool stuff. The Pursuit of Coconuts is just more than a blog. It's a tribe here to change the world of business. So join us on The Pursuit, The Pursuit of Coconuts. Mm -hmm.